Push the open mic button, and we put you right on the air. Dave giving us a call from Melbourne. He's got an issue with his Tundra. Go ahead, Dave. Hey, Larry. Um, I just have a question. I have, uh, you know, like I said, a 2014 Toyota Tundra Limited 4x4, and I have 85.059 is the miles. And, you know, my truck's been bulletproof. I haven't really done anything. I just put a battery in it. The only thing I think I'm going to need coming up is the uh, serpentine belt. My only question is with regard to the transmission. I tow a 22-foot boat, you know, and I just don't know. I mean, the dealer was like, ah, you don't need to do anything with the transmission as far as changing it. And I just wanted to get your take on that. Um. <laughs> Well, if you don't change the transmission fluid, Dave, um, let, let me let me just tell you that that's, I, in my opinion, that is some extremely extremely poor advice. Um, you know, and a lot of transmissions nowadays, they are they they'll tell people that they're sealed and they don't need no service and and and, and all kinds of hogwash. Let let me let me just tell you what happens. When you use transmission fluid, um, you know, consistently without ever changing it, the, the fluid increases in viscosity uh, and it builds up acid. Now, everything inside that transmission is controlled electronically. Uh, it's got shift solenoids, electronic pressure sensors, uh, at, you know, everything is electronic inside there. So when you've got fluid that is always being subjected to voltage, the, the fluid is going to develop acid. It, it, and so let's put it like this. The pH of the fluid goes out of the, it goes, it goes through the Richter scale. And it, it, it starts literally attacking everything inside the transmission uh, that it was designed to protect to start with. Uh, you, you get electrolysis that actually starts taking place. You've got daggone uh, valves in the valve body that are literally sitting there in some cases sparking and arcing. Some of them I have to beat them out of valve bodies to get the daggone valves out. And it's because the, the fluid has become conductive. You, you see what I'm saying? How does, how does this make any sense to tell somebody not to replace a, a fluid that's got a high acid content plus the viscosity is probably raised 20% since it was installed new you ever do the science uh, project when you was a kid and, and you would take a, a light bulb in a loop, but you actually used water in a glass to transmit the, the voltage and the more salt you put in it, which creates a higher pH and it makes the water conductive. The same, and it lights the light bulb. The same thing happens only a hundred times more with transmission fluid that has gotten a lot of acid buildup in it because it's been exposed to electricity. You need to go back to these dealer people <laughs> that you've been speaking to and explain to them how this stuff works because they don't have a clue, Dave. You know, think about this. You, you, can, you can take your old fluid out and do that science project we done when we were in grade school, and you can show them exactly why you should replace your transmission fluid. Think about that. How, how horrible advice could that possibly be? And you know why they, they, they tell you something like it? Because they have been told to tell you that. That's that's why. And they, they don't know any better. They've not been educated. They have never been to the first school. And these are the people that are taking care of your vehicle. That's a comforting thought, right? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes, it is. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely, if you can hear me, because I was shocked when they said that. Yeah. Yeah, let's think about that for a minute. Yeah, the people that, you know, that's kind of like the fox garden, the hen house type of information, you know. Uh, hopefully, they'll, hopefully they'll attend a couple transmission schools and maybe, maybe give a little better advice in the future. Thanks so much for your call, Dave.